right, I think now it's time to start working on our full three-fingered C chord. Now we had our easy form chord, which we were playing with our first finger on the first fret on the second string. Now we're going to add our second finger to the second fret on the fourth string. And then we're going to take our third finger and we're going to put that on the fifth string on the third fret. And we're just going to play the top five strings. Now you'll see on the diagram the low E string has an X on it. it means do not play that string. Now, and this is the way the C chord should look and sound. One of the things that you need to make sure is that uh, your first finger is not accidentally touching your high E string and make sure that your second finger isn't touching the G and make sure that your third finger here isn't touching uh, the D. So you want to keep your fingers pretty straight and uh, press down on your fingertips. Also make sure that your fingers are not on the fret wire so you'll get that kind of buzzy sound. You want to have your first finger just kind of right before that fret wire on the first fret. That second finger right there, third finger right there. Make sure you have a good arch on your fingers. And when you're working on your chords, just kind of play through each note and make sure they sound clear. And that is the full three-fingered C chord. Now, when you're working on uh, learning new chords, especially, you know, uh, using this C for an example, uh, make sure your uh, fingers are in the right position when you're practicing it. And you know if you have them in the right position. Now a little exercise you can do is this little chord squeeze exercise where you take in your fingers and you squeeze and pulse them. You squeeze and pulse, squeeze and pulse, squeeze and pulse. Uh, do it uh, for about 20, 30 seconds or so. After you've done it for a while, take away your fingers and then try to find where they need to go again. After a while, your fingers are going to drop right where they need to go into that position. What you're doing with that uh, chord squeeze exercise is, is creating muscle memory in your hands. Also, it's a great way to build the calluses on your fingertips and it really starts to build the strength in your fingers as well. So once again, first finger here, second finger here, third finger right there. Do not play the low E and you strum just the top five strings. And that is the full three fingered C chord. Work with that, take your time, make sure it sounds good. Uh, work with that for a little bit, take a break, come back to it. Try to find that C chord again. Just kind of strum it a little bit and you'll be on your way to playing the full three-fingered C chord. Hello and welcome to Introduction to Guitar, a course designed for beginners. This course is packed with lessons using video examples. In this course, you will learn major, minor, and dominant chords. You will work on chord progressions to begin to build your skills. You will learn 12 bar blues and how to read tab. And you will also learn power chords for playing rock guitar. Along with the video examples, there are PDFs that you can print and jam tracks to practice with. So grab your guitar and let's get started for an introduction to guitar.